Hi guys, Lens to Bengue and you're back with Africa on the Plate. We're at the Brisker Mill and I'm here with a very special friend of mine. He's a chef too. His name is Katleho Sebastian Mlambo. Sales, how are you doing, brother? Fantastic, dude. How are you doing? I'm very well, guy. Good, good, man. It's almost uh, coming up to Christmas and I want to cook with you. But I don't want to do the same boring stuff, you know, the, uh, the big roast and the huge the heavy, vegetables. You know, the, no, I hear Obviously, you, dude. people expect that, but how can we jazz it up a little bit? I mean, obviously, dude, I still think that we have to keep it homely, you know okay. what I mean, and traditional. Yeah. So, to make a bit of a twist, I think you yeah. should have some chicken stuff with a beautiful bacon jam, okay. you know, some seasonal veg, yeah. and maybe um, a warm vinaigrette to complement the whole dish. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah, dude. And you know what? I, th I think we have the best place for it as well. We have Sassis Petit Daily, one of my friends daily, and she has a beautiful bacon jam that she makes. I think, let's go inside and find out. Cool, let's do that. Hi guys, so we asked to see this is the beautiful day that I was talking about, my friend owns it. Um, so come check out these meats here. Dude, and how beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. What's that? Black forest roast beef. You got your honey and Honey and herb. ham. Yeah. Real, real ham, dude. Why, why are we making meats like this? That is a good question, but I think us incorporating some of these meats to our roast could be Nice, here. and uh, this, this guy here, what's that? Pancetta lardons. Toss them in a, in, in a very hot pan. Okay. With some garlic, some garlic, some onions, and maybe we make a little sauce out of some them, rosemary. Okay. Nah, okay. treats. Definitely one of those. Definitely. So with our chicken, we're basically gonna take our two thighs, we're gonna debone it and open them up. Take a beautiful bacon jam and stuff it right in the center. Put those two pieces of thighs together with no bones. Seed it off in the pan and then roast it off. Where's the bacon jam? Oh. That's what I'm looking for. So that's, this guy's going to be in the center. In the in center. center. So you take those thighs apart, take the bones out, and uh, bacon jam right in the center. Definitely, dude. Okay. Sounds absolutely delicious. Definitely. I think we have a winner up there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Get it? Chicken dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. Let's take maybe even two of those things. Yeah, this is definitely the guy, dude. I yeah. think we have a winner. Yeah, this definitely. Is the one. Cool. Let's go make our chicken dinner. Let's do it. Hey guys, so we've gotten our ingredients from Sassis Deli. Um, we're now starting our prep. I'm basically on the veg, and Saves is busy with the meat. Uh, what, what I'll be doing with the veg is basically, I've got my peppers on this side here, I've got my onions, I'm gonna fine brunoir them. I'm gonna add them and toss them in the pan with some of these beautiful bacon lardons. Uh, throwing a bit of herbs and some garlic, obviously. And I've got my, my other vegetables that I'm gonna roast. I'm gonna cube these guys up. Um, keep the skins on as well. I like a bit of skin on my, on my vegetables. Uh, Sis, how you doing, there, man? Um, I'm good. The yeah. chickens. I'm working on the chicken. Yeah. Um, so over here you can see that basically we've got our chicken. I remove the thighs. Mm -hmm. the thighs. I'm gonna remove the bones. I'm gonna okay. beautifully stuff the. The bacon jam. Yes, yes. It's going to be delicious. I'm looking forward to that. I must it's say, I'm looking very, forward very to that. Yummy, very yummy, very yummy. So as you can see, I've removed the bones and my thighs are looking quite naked. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to marinate them with the bacon jam to like lotion them up a bit. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to put it in the oven, which has been preheated for about 35 minutes to 40 minutes. To, to see how it is and hopefully she'll come out beautiful. So here we go. She's going in and guys, the oven has to be about 100, 180 degrees cause that's when the, the chicken will beautifully, beautifully cook. So, au revoir. You know, Sims, I think it's very important that like we, we, we make the guys this thing at home for, uh, understand why this is a Christmas lunch. Do you know what I mean? Cause like, in, what do you have in Christmas? Gammon. Gammon. Roasted, uh, roasted veggies. Stuffed, stuffed turkey. Stuffed, you know, okay. everything's just stuffed. Everything's so just basically, stuffed. basically, basically, we're doing a lighter, newer version of it, because we're still stuffing a bird, 
but not turkey. True. Right? And we are still using pork, but not gammon. Exactly. Right? And we have vegetables, but we're not going to be just roasting them only. We've got some that are roasted, some in like, like some in a warm we'll salad. Exactly. Warm, exactly. warm salad. salad as well. So, so it fits in like a Sunday lunch Christmas vibe, but just done differently, really. It's it's like a new age Christmas. A new age in Christmas. South Africa. I like that. Done. It's a South African. It's a South African, African Christmas. Yeah, so African and plate. <laughs> Christmas. African and plate creating Christmas. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Okay. I'm with that. Cool.